All right, so let's continue learning the uh, basic animation principles of animation here. Uh, what we're doing here is um, moving the Coke can forward and moving it up so it can go up the steps. If you uh, followed the previous lesson, we were animating the bone, uh, the armature going along the Y axis, but just stays on the ground. It can't go up because it already has a Z axis uh, location so you can't interfere with that because we put that in a cycle otherwise it will break the cycle okay it will break the cycle of the uh, of the Z axis so what we uh, gonna do is instead of animating uh, breaking the Z axis going up we're going to add a parent to the bone and that's the one we're going to animate going up and going forward instead of the bone going forward so right now we're going to leave all the cycle animation on the um, on the bone alone and then we will do the animation to go forward and up and down uh, using an empty or a parent okay so that's what's going and then since this is on a cycle, it's just going to kind of keep celebrating there. Another thing you can do, uh, I will provide you with the animated cycle blender file before it went up. It's just the cycle that's just going up and down. Um, you can also eliminate uh, this part right here on the cycle where it jump and then, as you can see, we did some follow through and secondary animation. That might be taking too much time before it'll do another hop. So you can definitely eliminate that. You can go here and then just squash and then up right here and then right there you can just uh, uh, jump already so that will become the whatever the last follow through animation becomes the anticipation also okay so you can do that and then you can make it uh, jump there I don't, uh, actually let's let's try and figure that out and then kind of fix that okay so I'm gonna open this up the uh, cycle animation and this is provided for you free okay so I will have a link in the description regarding this one alright so there it is here we're still doing a lot of because we're just kinda doing secondary um, and follow through right so if we take a look at this one we can eliminate some of this so that whatever the uh, follow through animation and then when it goes up on 30 okay we can make the uh, the bone make sure you know object mode we can make the bone to be one on the scale okay keyframe that one and then uh, eliminate all the other keys so I'm gonna select those and then click X delete keyframe okay and then on the Z location which is it's gonna go uh, kind of up right there because uh, remember we extended that before so I'm just gonna move that key to 30 so instead of the cycle going 1 to 35 it now stops okay at uh, there we go but we gotta fix that weird um, bending on the uh, uh, because we changed that so that's 35 so we want that to start uh, bending right here and then it should end at uh, 30 so we're just simply going to move the last key back to 30 so now okay let me extend that so it doesn't look so weird when it cycles so now we can just do a hop so it will go like this it goes down all right and that's on one and then here it's also on one so it kind of continues it so for the cycle to be better I think we're gonna um, just go with 29 right here okay um, or 30 we will lower it a bit so that so it doesn't have that pause because because it, it'll, it'll do this and then kind of cycle it again right here so it 
drops. Okay, so we can eliminate this actually because this would be the anticipation. And then since it's going to cycle it again once it lands, repeat that process, then we don't need this. Okay, it becomes the anticipation becomes the follow through because we're cycling it. So I can simply s select all the keys right here and delete. Okay, and uh, of course we got to fix this one here. It stops at 22. We don't need a 30 anymore. So let's take a look. There you go. So it's just, it just keeps kind of jumping. So we just basically eliminated all the extra stuff before since we're going to animate this going forward and up and down now. Okay, so we don't need to add the, uh, the uh, follow through animation and secondary motion. But you can still do it like the old, uh, like how I demoed it before. It's just that there's kind of like a slight pause between the jump. It doesn't make the jump like super quick. Okay, so it's either you can, you can, um, I will share both. So this one, uh, the other one was called Co Can Cycle Animation. And then I'm going to save this as Co Can Cycle Animation Short. Okay, so it's a shorter version without the uh, follow through. All right, so you can either follow along using the other file or this new file that we just made. Okay, so. Let's build the uh, platform for this. So I'm going to, in object mode, I will add a, uh, I will add a cube. And let's just kind of tone down the color of this cube real quick. Okay, so it's not too bright. And I'm going to go to the side viewport right here. And I will um, just kind of move it here a little bit. Okay, and uh, move it down here or scale it a little bit. Okay, let's scale that. Okay, and then I'll go to edit mode, just select the back face right here and simply move it along the y-axis. I don't know how many steps, I'm kinda lazy, so let's just do up to <laughs> that one right there. Alright, that should be good enough to for learning. Select this one here, press uh, E to extrude, just kind of eyeballing a square selection in here. Ah. E to extrude. Finally, the upper part right there. So we're going to make the scan and I do all this jump right here. Okay, so let's see. I Let's kind of scale it a bit. Kind of give it a little distance. All right, so we have that. Okay, so now let's prepare our parent for the can all right so the cursor is right there I want the uh, I want when I create my uh, object I want it on the ground so I'm going to go to view I'm gonna tell my cursor to be zero 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 just be at the beginning oh. all right right there's so a 3d cursor so whenever we make our object it will be right there center of the world and on the exact same location is the bone and the can right so let's create our parent so add empty I want a circle okay and I want to rotate it uh, let me turn on screencast R X 90 so it's on flat on the ground and then I'm gonna scale it a bit so we could act easily grab it okay so this will be the uh, main parent of the coke can right so the main parent right there so um, right now it has value of 90 degree and the scaling is not uh, 111 so what I'll do is reset all this leave it in place and reset all this so I'm gonna go to object apply all transform to deltas so now as if we made it from the very beginning at this exact same size and rotation already okay you always select the parent last so we're gonna select the bone in object mode shift select the parent control p and then keep transform okay we want a parent to object keep transform so that it doesn't snap to it won't because it's at the center but just in case you know so now let's kind of check our rig when i move the main parent everything follows when i move the bone the parent is left behind 
since the Coke can is parented to this one, uh, it follows it along. But if we select the Coke can, it has its independence. So Coke can is independent from the bone. Bone is independent from the main parent. Main parent controls everything. All right, so now we just need to animate on uh, this one right here. So let's go to the number three, okay? And let's do our, uh, let's take a look at the uh, animation. So we know for a fact that uh, we won't start moving until right there. So frame eight, okay? So frame eight uh, will start with the uh, Y axis, right? For the parent. So I'm gonna right click it, insert single keyframe, and then they'll go down at frame 22 so I'm just going to move this here where it should be all right right click this insert single keyframe so kind of like what we did last time okay and of course you need to go to the function curve and we'll fix that later okay so now I have to animate the z-axis okay remember the reason why we're doing the parent now because we can't animate the z-axis on the bone because that's already dedicated to the up and down cycle so z-axis on frame 8 I'm going to keyframe it and then here we go to 22 I gotta move it up and I have the parent selected okay so don't get confused now this is not the bone we're animating but the parent that guy okay so I'm kinda eyeballing this make sure I'm not floating on the ground or sinking okay that's fine right there so that's a z-axis I'm gonna keyframe it so if we play scrub that we have that one so now we're able to make it jump all right and then we're just gonna do this again so it won't start moving until frame 29 so on frame 29 I want the position on 22 for both X I mean for both Y and Z basically B here so makes it easy now we just need to right click that insert keyframe insert keyframe so basically 22 we just copied the value to 29 you could also select that shift D and move it to 29 it'll do the same thing but since I just want to be consistent with what I demo to you guys so that you know you get familiar with that so now it's gonna go up again right so 29 it's going to land at uh, 43. Yep, 43. So we move Y right there. Right click, insert keyframe, and then Z. All right, so I just want to make sure. Uh, okay, good enough. Z, insert single keyframe, and it jump right there. And now uh, it, land, it it takes off again at 50, and we simply select those, and then you can do Shift D, move it here, then it'll lock those. You know that's the same thing as right clicking. Okay, so now it'll have it needs two more steps. When does it land? 64. So why? right there Z right click and boat to insert single keyframe and we're on our last one here all right so 71 is when it, before it starts moving so all the value for Y and Z where it's at shift D to just simply copy those all right and now uh, it lands right here 85 I just want to make sure 85 right there so we go Y and Z right click boat keyframe and this thing is just going to keep jumping there now like as if it uh, hit victory okay so uh, let's lower that to let's say 200 just so that it cycles and uh, let's watch it at the very beginning all 
All right. And there it is. It just keeps doing its thing. All right, so we are progressively adding to your animation skill and eliminating a lot of counter animation as well. Okay. So, and that pretty much ends this lesson here. And uh, to kind of uh, show you the uh, advantage of knowing how to use parents and then uh, you can offset that job to another object so you don't have to mess with uh, cycle animation or or uh, overwrite uh, animation along that axis well there's one more fix uh, the the graph editor of course uh, for this one so the y-axis right so we know um, uh, we want to kind of change that to uh, to V uh, free all right and get those handle and just kind of make them fast kind of like what we did from the previous lesson and and I'm just kind of doing this really quick without previewing it but you kind of get the point if you did the previous lesson so that um, the, the movement for the uh, coke can going forward will be a lot nicer when you do that let's take a look so okay so if you want to really preview that one you want to see the movement so a lot more vertical here so maybe grab that a little bit so that it it propels forward a little bit more but there's a lot of kind of hang time right here so maybe not too much all right all right that would work i think okay so just kind of tweak those however you know because depending on the distance how much it's actually jumping and uh, what else can we do with this um well, you can add some uh, rotation to this uh, if you want to, because uh, when it kind of jumps like that, we haven't done any rotation animation, so that thing is free within the can. So you can actually add that to the element. Maybe that's another lesson, but for now, uh, that's how we can make the can go forward and up uh, without uh, disrupting any of the cycled animation.